Prepare yourselves for intense weirdness. We got more scary teacher 3D animations. Everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to another set of VM Annie animations of Scary Teacher 3D. As you guys probably can expect, uh, some weird stuff is gonna happen. As we can see, our good friend Francis, aka Scary Stranger 3D, which is his new game, uh, built a pipe. And he's very proud of this pipe that he built. He's, he's gonna call up all his friends, okay. Okay. <laughs> who include, uh, Rod, Ice Cream Rod, okay. Um, this is a weird set of, of characters that we've got involved in this animation. But he's like, hey, everybody, look, look, oh my gosh, oh, you guys aren't gonna believe what I made. It's a pipe that kind of looks like a traffic cone. She is unimpressed. Miss T is absolutely unimpressed. And real quick, guys, I just wanted to remind you that the LED hover light is still available. I will have a link in the description down below, so go get one while you still can. Limited time only. It changes colors, and it's pretty rad. Oh, wait. There's more to this. It's a, it's a sh shrink device. You walk through it on one end, and you get shrunk out the other. Oh, yeah. And he is very excited to, to have experienced life as a small creature. What? Why would you want to be tiny? I feel like this world is already scary enough. But if you're the size of, like, a bug, I feel like it would be even more terrifying. I don't feel like this is the kind of device that, that we want. Not right now. I feel like Francis could could do better with, with whatever he's... Whatever kind of technology he's discovering here. Okay, I mean, Nick is very excited about being tiny. And Tani, or Tani, I don't know what her name is. T-A-N-I, it's probably Tani, uh, I think about. It. I'm gonna keep calling her Tani. I'm glad that you had a parachute, Nick. It, he thought that one through, because I was thinking, if she's gonna toss him up in the air, I hope that she's gonna catch him. And she didn't have to because he had a parachute. A tiny parachute, might I add. He just he just happened to have a tiny parachute on hand. Okay, Miss T's going through. What is she going to do? Hello. Oh, I hate that. Hello. Oh! Oh, wait, Rod. Did you forget your parachute, Miss T? She... <laughs> I don't... I don't know what's happening, but it's all happening very quickly. Okay, Francis is... What was that? What was that? Hold up, hold up. We got to go back. One of the strangest things about these animations is like the sound effects that go into it. Wait for you it. You can do it. It's just out of nowhere. You can do it. Do what? And why was that so much louder than all the other sound effects? It sounded like someone just walked up behind me and just was like, you could do it. That was frightening and pretty hilarious. Apparently now they're having a miniaturized race. They got they got bikes. Miss T's got a scooter. I think Rod was was using rollerblades. <laughs> That's not the way you rollerblade, dude. He's like pushing rollerblades like like a skateboard. It doesn't work that way. Okay, yeah, he got knocked out. And he, he rage quit. He failed. He failed the race. <laughs> and they're very happy about taking him out. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is just a normal wasp or bee. And if you're small, it's going to be a massive creature that could eat you. I just... I don't want to be a tiny creature. I just... It doesn't seem like fun. It does not seem like fun. I don't want to get chased by giant bees or wasps. Hold up. Was that a giant parrot? That is a giant... Well, not a giant parrot. It's a regular sized parrot, but because everybody's small, it feels like it's a giant. And the parrot just saved the, the characters. Miss T, Francis, Nick and Tanny, they fell in the pool, but they apparently they got out. And they're very happy about that. I'm glad that they could swim. Uh, this parrot? Hello, parrot? Yeah, let's get on the parrot. Sure. Sure. Why not? 
Oh, these animations never cease oh, yeah. to surprise me. They're, they're flying away on a parrot. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? This is truly absurd, and I love every second of it. Oh, there's a hamster. That hamster. Wait a second. If regular-sized people can go through this pipe and become tiny-sized people, if a tiny-sized creature goes through the opposite end of the pipe, does it become a giant creature? I have a feeling we're about to find out. Carry on, animation. I just needed a second to catch my breath because it never stops being insane. Here we go. It's going to be a giant hamster. I think it. I think it's a hamster, although hamsters don't have tails like that, do they? So maybe it's a mouse. It doesn't matter. It's a small creature that is now giant. And now what? Now what do you do? You have a giant mouse hamster running around your yard, Miss T, because of this weird pipe that Francis built. Why, why did you create this, Francis? I don't understand. I don't. Go through. No, take the parrot, and then you can have a giant parrot. Who doesn't want a giant parrot? I want a giant parrot. Although, maybe I don't want a giant parrot. Apparently, like, parrots' beaks are super strong, so if you had a parrot that was massive, you could probably do a lot of damage with that beak. So never mind on the giant parrot. I've, I've decided I don't want a giant parrot. But we're going to give the parrot a, a snack and carry on, parrot. Live your life. Your best life. Now what? They're, oh, they're trying, they're deliberating. They're figuring out, brainstorming, how to stop the giant <gasps> mouse hamster. What What have you figured out, Miss T? You have an excellent idea. Ah, oh yes, okay. So if you put a trap that would normally be for a small hamster mouse in through the pipe, you make it a giant trap. Or you could just buy like a, a cage for like a, you know, a dog or something. <laughs> I'm just saying, just throw it out there. They already make cages for larger animals. Just saying. Oh, but Rod is, wait, what? So the issue with Miss T's plan is that Rod is, is too stupid to not get caught in the trap himself? Okay, all right. Well, then we need to make whatever trap we're gonna create Rod proof, apparently. Rod has an idea. Oh gosh, what what would a maniacal ice cream man think of? Making a cat giant, right? Because cats chase mice. So make a giant cat that will now chase the mouse and possibly us. I feel like you've just created a lion, basically, right? I mean, a lion is just a big cat. And now you've put one in Miss T's front yard and they blew up her house. Which is the logical conclusion. That's that's what I would be most concerned about too, is the house getting blown up. For sure. Definitely. These ideas are are not working out. Giant bird is back! It's not a giant bird. I keep calling it a giant bird. I, I really want the bird to be a giant, apparently. Uh yes, Tanny, you have a you have a great idea, and you're telling everybody about it in a language that nobody speaks, so Cool. All right. What are you guys doing? You're taking you're taking the the shrinking device with you. Hey! Okay, we've got Rod's ice cream truck. Real quick, uh, can we talk about Rod's face in this shot? What happened? I do not know what's going on with that man, but he does not look okay. Let's carry on. Let's see what the, they're up to. What and kind of genius plan we go. have they devised? Go go go! Go go go! <laughs> Nick's just dancing. That's extremely dangerous, Nick. Like, not only are there giant hamster mice in the neighborhood, but you're dancing on top of an ice cream truck. That is moving. Don't do that. Don't dance on any moving vehicle while it's moving. It's dumb. Oh, okay, I see. They're, they're making the treats giant because, you know, giant mouse rats or whatever this thing is. Uh, don't eat normal size treats. They only eat giant treats. Okay, they're 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 kind of creating like a breadcrumb trail for hamster 
thing. Hamster rat, ha hamster mouse. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's one of those kangaroo thing, kangaroo rat from Australia. Uh, they shrunk it, okay. That seemed like a way more complicated plan than it needed to be. Uh, but I'm glad that it all worked out and nobody got eaten by a giant rat mouse. Okay, we're moving on to our next animation, which is entitled Prank with Fake Finger and Sausage. So I have an idea what's going to happen here, and I kind of hate it, but also sort of respect it. I don't, I don't know who's going to get pranked, but someone is probably going to pretend that that sausage is their finger and cut it off. But Nick first is gonna gonna eat some sausage or hot dog or whatever it is. I mean, good for him. But but Tanny's not too happy about that. She's gonna do it. She has the prank in mind now. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, don't oh. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. Oh, and then add the ketchup for, for effect, of course. And here you go. It's oh, gosh. oh, I love the face. Tanny is selling it hard right now. She nailed it. Oh my gosh, I just cut my finger off. And Nick is buying it. Oh gosh. He wouldn't have noticed that like the sausage is a completely different color from her finger, but I guess he's a little caught up in the moment. Oh, don't eat it. Do not eat it. No! No! <laughs> oh, gosh! Okay, I mean, if you're gonna pull a prank like that, she went all the way. She sold it hard. She did eat the nail. I, I do have to mention, she ate the nail, but, I mean, she, she is fully committed to this prank, and uh, it seems to have worked. It <laughs> oh, my gosh! Oh. oh, okay. All right. And Nick is, Nick is dead. And then Tanny doing the coffin dance. I am very confused. I have to say, I am very impressed with Tanny's commitment to this prank. She nailed it. She truly nailed it. And Nick uh, definitely fell for it. Did, did At one point, he, he threw up, didn't he? I we got I kind of was so caught up in her commitment to the prank. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's he, yeah. Eating your own finger after cutting it off definitely takes it to the next level. And uh, she did it. She went and did it. I gotta see that face again that that Tanny makes when when she cuts. Cause I mean she she sells it right here. Look at look at that. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, that was fantastic. Can't help but notice that uh, Miss T isn't even in this prank. It's just Nick and Tanny. I guess that prank life never really ends. And, uh, and Nick and Tanny are now pranking each other. Even when Miss T is not there. But either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you want to see more animations by VM Annie, I will have a link to their YouTube channel in the description down below. But that is going to do it. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.